So a lot of people don't know how to start a conversation around the gospel. They don't want to make it awkward. They don't want someone to get mad at them. And one of the best questions you can ask is, what do you put your trust in? And where do you get your hope from? And do you have any spiritual beliefs? Everyone puts their trust in someone or something and gains their hope from someone or something. Also, when you ask someone, are you spiritual? It's a non-confrontational way of starting to talk about things of faith. Some people don't like religion, have a bad experience with religion. So asking them if they're spiritual makes them much more comfortable. From there, you can start a conversation on the gospel. Let's take a look at some of these conversations from our New York City trip. All right, everybody, we're in uh, Times Square in the middle of it. We're with two students from Germany. So we're asking people, what, do you have any spiritual beliefs? Do you guys believe in like God or any kind of higher power? Okay. And uh, what do you put your trust in in life? What do you put your hope in? I don't believe in God, to be honest, but I think that there's a power somewhere. I believe in God. I think it's a man up above. I think it's somebody out there that watches over all of us. I believe in truth, compassion, and tolerance. Uh, I practice a Chinese meditation practice called Falun Gong. I believe like in those, like, those zodiac signs. Okay. All that stuff. So I, uh, I'm a modern Orthodox Jew, and I believe in the Jewish depiction of God, whose okay. name is, we call him Hashem. Okay. We believe in Islam and we respect all religion. Yeah, me too. We respect all other religions. Uh, we are more liberal uh, with other religions. Okay, I'm not a very spiritual person. I put my trust in science and scientific results, scientific data, the data that comes from observations and scientific experiments, that speaks the truth and that's all that matters. So in Hinduism, we follow Lord Krishna. Mm. And uh, you know, it is Lord Krishna is the supreme power, if, is what we believe in. And you know, the, you know, I have a tilak on my forehead, this is known as tilak. And it is, it is like feet of Lord Krishna on our forehead. I definitely believe in God. Okay. There has to be something. Right. I don't want to believe that I'm going to die and then I turn to nothing. Right. I can't. I can't process that. <laughs> Every time I think about death, I think about like, okay, I'm going to go somewhere. I'm not right. going to just stay on the ground and be nothing. I, like, right. It's not going to happen. Right. I, right. I, I have to believe in God. I do believe in God. Right. Right. I feel like when something bad happens, people believe in God. And then when something good happens, they like, believe it in themselves. Okay. So... I mean, I don't really know if there's a God. I mean, who really knows? I think the most important thing is do good and receive some good. So oh, be good. Be yes. good, yes. yes. Good. That's what I uh, trust in. Okay. In humanity, actually. In humanity, Being yes. good will bring you good. Yeah, actually, it's a very um, new thing. Uh, I believe in karma. Karma, Let's yeah. Let's say it that yes. way. That yes. was okay. it. Okay, yeah. interesting. I'm the naked cowboy, keeping the grip of you. Thank you. So where do you hail from? Uh, Cincinnati, Ohio. So uh, we're actually doing uh, kind of a uh, survey. We're doing a cross-section of people across, you know, Times Square. We've been here for a few days. We're asking people what their ideas are, thoughts are, if they have spiritual beliefs, if they have, you know, they believe in afterlife, do they believe in a higher power, anything like that. Do you? Uh, yeah, well, I guess my, my, my feeling is that, you know, that literally God is within us, that everything is God. There's no separation between me and God. Okay. Anything I want to do is come per perfectly up to me. I can do whatever I want, and I'll literally reap and live and be whatever I make myself into, period. Okay. So if I see myself as literally the living embodiment of the Messiah, not Jesus, but the Lord God himself, then I, you know, that's where I operate from. That's my belief, that I can have that kind of lofty ambition for myself and that people will recognize me as such. And, and so, and it's my greatest motivation, my inspiration is what I pray and worship and love. Some, you know, the temporary Christian would say, oh, you're glorifying yourself. So be it. So what, what's your thoughts on that? I believe in Christ. Okay. You know, just okay. point blank period. That's who I believe in. I believe that he sent his son to die for my sins to where I can have eternal life. You know, why do I always get drawn to the Christians? This is so, <laughs> this is so good. As you can see, it's really not that difficult to start a conversation about the gospel. I hope this video really encouraged you. I recommend checking out our full length documentary, Go New York City, to see how to share the gospel with others. For more information on witnessing to cults and other religions, 
go to our website, pleasetellmethetruth.org. 